Hi everybody, it is uh, now September 4. Uh, I was just listening to Logic Before Authorities video and well, I need to post this right now to warn you guys on the coast of South Carolina that it does look like Dorian may very well take a direct hit right where Daniel, you are. So when I was listening to what you were saying in this video. Well, that's about what we got going on here. If you look at this, you can see as, as Dorian swings by and runs me over because I'm right there the little blue the little blue dot with the hurricane warning uh red yeah it looks like based on what i can see uh it's coming here and i've got a little you might say a little whisper in my ear t telling me that it's coming here well that whisper Let's um, increase the volume of that whisper. I was just over here. This is Tropical Tidbits. And this is a forecast of uh, 48 hours. So, all right, let's watch it. Now, the east coast of Florida, and here's Georgia. You can see the uh, black line of uh, Georgia. And right here is where Daniel lives. Right there. Right on the coast. Well, here we go. Yeah. It's going through. Uh, quite a lot of hours here but I was watching another video that somebody posted and I think they were saying that Dorian is going to be coming back so I put it on oh yep here we go another hurricane hitting South Carolina or did it do the full loop? It did the full loop. I'm sorry. Uh, that video that I was watching with another hurricane hitting South Carolina, I don't, um, I can't get tropical tidbits to go out that far. So, it's ending its loop that was 306 hours but this is literally hitting South Carolina and that was uh, let's see meanwhile it is a crisis all over California wildfire insurance Sorry. policies that was not supposed to play um, 54, so one more back, 48. Yeah. It's right smack. Uh, the eye is just off the coast. Doesn't look good. Does not look good for Daniel. So why don't we circulate this video for all of those on the coast of South Carolina as well, you know, Savannah, Georgia, and uh, North Carolina. It's coming. It goes back east. Once it leaves South Carolina, but you could still have a whole lot of flooding and wind, of course. Okay.
South Carolinians and those right the uh, southeast corner Georgia be very careful with this just within uh, a day and a half I also want to show you some more uh, <laughs> information I, I was sent this by a subscriber did you hear of the crawl, the crawl that came out in July 2019 when a massive hurricane hits her Florida hometown. Hallie ignores evacuation orders to search for her missing father, finding him gravely injured in a crawl space. Friday, oh, July 12th, release date. Well, any of you see crawl? All right, uh, we've got the federal government hiring Ebola airport screeners. What? Oh yeah, okay. Three weeks ago, a healthcare uh, organization posted the following ad seeking entry-level employees for Dulles International Airport, just outside of Washington, D.C to screen for Ebola. Um, not just Washington, D.C., Los Angeles Public Department of Health is also looking for someone to handle a potential Ebola outbreak. And New York City, too, is also concerned. New York City and state health departments carried out a full Ebola drill on April 30 with a mock Ebola patient. Oh boy. Well, we sure do have an awful lot going on. Uh, insurers are looking at possible insolvency. Yeah, here. Uh, UBS analysts estimate about 70 billion of natural catastrophe losses for 2019, adding that it could erode excess capital, raise prices. Uh, well, homeowners insurance is skyrocketing. Many people are losing their insurance. Insurance companies drop coverage for hundreds of thousands of homeowners in high wildfire risk areas. Alrighty then. Yeah. 6% increase in insurer, insurer, I can't get this off, um, insurer initiated homeowner policy non-renewals in California, 2017 to 2018, trend was worse for zip codes affected by 2015 and 2017 wildfires last year. Those areas saw a 10% increase in non-renewals. The numbers don't reflect the many people losing health insurance, or health insurance, uh, homeowners insurance this year in the wake of the destructive and deadly 2018 wildfires, including the Camp Carr and Woolsey Hill fires. So, homeowners, uh, Laura and Charlie Callahan, earlier this year, their insurance company notified them that they were canceling their coverage after 20 years of coverage. And now, Laura said that she is paying four times as much. It's gone from less than 1,000 a year to almost 4,000 a year, and we're on a fixed income uh, her husband's retired. She's retiring. It wasn't something we expected. And she knows of other people in her community, El Dorado County, who are paying more for their homeowner's insurance that, than they are for their mortgages. There's a whole slew 
of articles on this. How many people are losing homeowners insurance because of wildfires? Well, nearly 350,000 California residents dropped by insurers. Uh, California Globe recently talked with residents of Chico who are experiencing this latest crisis following deadly fires, homeowners insurance, is also becoming a huge problem with existing homeowners. They're canceling insurance out of the blue. Uh, reported was many others whose homes were not burned down. They're being notified of cancellations as insurance companies are telling customers they no longer offer insurance in wildfire areas. Insurance plan, uh, even with an insurance plan that had a $65,000 deductible. Whoa. Another resident of Chico told California Globe he received homeowner's insurance quotes as high as 9000 per month. Woof. Well, hey, make America great again. So many people, what, ha what then happens, you know? Uh, it creates a whole lot of chaos. Not being able to find insurance, you then in turn can't sell your home. If you can't sell your home, then it affects the local property taxes. It creates chaos. Consumer watchdog, uh, sent Mr. Lara, who is the insurance commissioner in California, uh, an open letter on Tuesday calling for the commissioner to stop what were described as excessive rate hikes or the loss of insurance altogether. Okay, flood insurance, is, the premiums are skyrocketing. Uh, you won't be able to get flood insurance at some point while well, we'll, I posted a video on FEMA, there are changes that, well, we won't know the details until April 2020, when FEMA finally announces those changes that will take effect October 2020. Look at this hurricane. Ah, well. Uh, it'll, it's going to get to the point, and it may be 2020, that homeowners, if you don't, Elevate your home. You guys in the fire-prone areas, if you don't fireproof your home, all of which is going to cost you a whole lot of money, you won't get insurance. That's my prediction. South Carolinians. Um, folks in southeast Georgia and yeah North Carolina be be prepared for anything all links are below